I think y'all are enjoying these Rate My Plate videos just as much as I am. <laughs> so let's keep on doing it. Grilled tomato, avocado, and egg on sourdough toast with tomato salsa, olive oil, and toasted pumpkin seeds by Andrew C. Andrew C., your turn, mate. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Three in a row. You're new here, aren't you? Master Chef is that way. Off you f And take your Ponte Avocado vagina imitation with you. What? <laughs> Good Lord. Is that egg from a caged chicken? Free range don't have those bar harkies across the yard. <laughs> Like what is that? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> you left the avocado nipple in it. You f melt. <laughs> Goodness. <sighs> Andrew C. One hundred percent sits down for a piss. God, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I love it. Beans on Toast by Aaron H. Found your perfect topping. <laughs> Look at his fingers. Goodness. Gotta clean those up. Only time the five second rule has applied to someone's fingers instead of the floor. <laughs> Rate my grot. 11 out of 10. Aaron. <laughs> oh, they burned him. Curry with Nan by Amy L. Looks like Grot Bag's Fanny. Ew, who is Grot Bag? <laughs> I don't know, but that just doesn't look right. Tuesday Dinner, Because I Can, by Kelsey J. Because you can what? Eat like an 18-stone truck driver who bricks and farts like a car horse. <laughs> Drowning prehistoric dinosaur turds and gravy isn't going to make them taste any better. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't afford to keep you, Kelsey. Alan Morgan, you're barely old enough to keep yourself, son. Bet you still get ten dollars a week pocket money. <laughs> he still get allowance, weekly allowance. Yo, nobody is safe in the comments. It doesn't even matter if you posted food or not. <laughs> Pasta with gravy by L. I don't even know how to pronounce that. LL, we'll just say that. Remote next to it, no doubt watching the Terminator. Pasta La Vista Gravy. <laughs> I'm done. Made from scratch, Ganochi, or is that Ganache? I don't know. By Shell K. My daughter's horse made some Ganache earlier. <laughs> image of Shell K at work on this dish. <laughs> they got a dumb beetle rolling up some poop. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a picture of a quick ganache recipe. I couldn't find one that you have to cook for three days. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so that's how they're really supposed to look. <laughs> Chicken stir fry with green rice by PJB. Pretty sure the rice is blue. Did you just assume it's pigment? <laughs> Is this one of those new it's pink or green or gray things? Because I'm seeing blue rice. <laughs> Firstly, it's blue, not green. And secondly, does anyone think those grains of rice are a bit big? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing too, Donna. They look giant. Mom and son made these cakes for the homeless by Jessica P. Putting them in takeaway tins because technically they always eat out. Nice. <laughs> Hope you have the foil for them. Then at least they can cook their heroin for dessert. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sure, decorate them like they're going to Instagram them, Jessica. <laughs> people can't even do a nice gesture without people roasting them. Oh my goodness. Breakfast in Bed by Helen W. Hope Helen gets more action in bed than her bread does in the toaster. <laughs> Did you toast it by waving it at the sun vigorously? <laughs> oh my 
first time I've seen boiled toast. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Open the f curtains. Get some sun on that bread. <laughs> if you're as exciting in bed as you are your breakfast, your husband is screwing your sister. Oh my Belly Buster by Lee P. After eating that, you can have a nice lie down. <laughs> Look at the coffin! <laughs> oh. I'm not even going to slate you for this pic. I'm touching myself right now. Oh my god! Come on, man! Full Monty by Tammy O. Could do with another 10 minutes. No! <laughs> that food is burnt! <laughs> Looks like it was gently sautéed on the surface of the sun. <laughs> Cheese and Bacon by Craig D. Carol wants her flaps back. <laughs> no. Y'all remember Carol from the first video? Had bacon and cheese on Monday. Took the bread off my burger on Tuesday. And by Thursday, Friday, Saturday was still hungry on Sunday. <laughs> If any of y'all know that Craig Davis song, <laughs> what's the name of that song? <laughs> Spag Bowl by Tanya R. Tanya, free tip. This is not the oven. <laughs> it's a tumble dryer. We just call him a dryer here in the States, though. <laughs> Tonight's Tea by Harriet M. How my mouth feels just looking at that. <laughs> Oh, it looks so dry. My goodness. <laughs> Homemade Millionaire Shortbread by Gavin S. Should have used the time you spent making that fancy pattern on trying to lose your virginity, Gavin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Gavin claps when the plane lands. <laughs> I know that was been used before, but I just still love it so much. Gavin sits down for his wheeze. <laughs> I ain't gonna knock Gavin if he does, because sometimes that's helpful, because it lessens the degree of difficulty. <laughs> uh, Gavin, age 43, address with mom, job, paint watcher. Favorite phrase? My job is literally like watching paint dry. <laughs> Hobbies, using his penis to draw pretty patterns on cakes. <laughs> Emma, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Gavin is the sort of fella who has a glass of wine and lights scented candles before having a wank. <laughs> Ashley! <laughs> Y'all are ruthless. Y'all leave Gavin alone. <laughs> Steak for Tea by Darwin P. Darwin P. Sellafield United Kingdom. Look at the toes. <laughs> Oh, his feet look messed up. <laughs> me, Frodo. Where did you cook this? Mordor. <laughs> Is that E.T.'s finger? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that does look like a finger on the plate. Tonight's tea by Gemma T. Leave Gemma alone. She got enough on her plate. <laughs> That whatever that is, it looks absolutely disgusting. Thanks. Dog's crying now. <laughs> Even a dog got sad looking at that. It's only a matter of time before the neighbors complain about the smell. And the police arrive to discover Gemma's corpse being fed on by her 13 cats. <laughs> Andy, come on, man. <laughs> you ain't got to do it like that. Tasty in a Cob by Jordan M. I personally don't care what you call that bit of bread. Call it a smart apart for all I care. But for the love of the sweet baby Satan and all his fluffy minions of hellish devilry, at least have the decency to butter the thing before you go in dry with a pasty. <laughs> Come on, man. Do you sit on the telly and watch the couch? <laughs> oh, I love these. Who the f in their right mind calls it a cop? <laughs>
best served with two liters of white lightning while shouting at pigeons. <laughs> Car, batch, barn, bat, bread cake, or a f roll. Does it matter? Concentrate on the task in hand, and that is Jordan's abysmal creation. Can't you all see as part of Jordan's cunning plan of divide and conquer? While you are all arguing amongst yourselves about what you call a round lump of f bread dough, nobody is taking the piss out of his feeble attempt at culinary flim flam. Let's get back on track. Unite and all take him down. <laughs> Let's move, oh my goodness. <laughs> Why you gotta do him like that, man? <laughs> Lunch today by Selena B. Was everyone's first thought, what the f is that? Or just me? <laughs> Are you gonna finish painting the kitchen? <laughs> no, they did not put the arm for a paint roller on the sausage. <laughs> what would you like for lunch, Selena? Raspberry ripple ice cream on toast, popcorn, and a half a white dildo, please. <laughs> oh. Actual footage of Selena submitting the photo. <laughs> Is this you cooking your lunch in your kitchen, Selena? <laughs> no, they did not put an easy bake oven in there. <laughs> oh. Homemade Cherry Bakewell by Justine F. No sausage, no eggs, no peas, no salad, no potato, no bacon. What is this? Sit on it and then slingshot it against the wall. I might be interested then. Carry it. <laughs> Late night snack by Ellie M. What the hell are these? Blocked arteries? <laughs> I'm genuinely confused. I actually can't identify anything on that plate. Well f done. We may have a new winner. <laughs> Shepherd's Pie by Heather P. Looks like Gordon Ramsay's forehead. <laughs> Don't do my boy Gordon like that. Come on. <laughs> Looks like you've cooked a fingerprint. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Sunday Breakfast by Cat M. Let me guess. You have multiple personalities, and this morning you were all hungry. <laughs> Brad, man, come on. <laughs> there once was a girl called Cat who ate a big brekkie like that. Not long after burping, her stomach began hurting. Then she farted until she near sh <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Breakfast in Bed by Jane H. That old classic egg, smoked salmon, bread, and a breasted plant. <laughs> it does look like a breasted plant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this sure my husband had an affair with my best friend and now we're doing all nice things now to prove to the world how strong we are and how we'll make it through this phase? <laughs> Steven! <laughs> but y'all be cutting deep, man, getting personal. <laughs> Skull Eggs for Breakfast by Elsa M. Take me to your carol. <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, that's the egg. I've seen that egg before. You know, Gordon Ramsay roast. <laughs> Looking like E.T. on a plate. <laughs> toad in the Hole by Joe D. I'd rather be Toad in the Hole. <laughs> Rolling, come on, bro. <laughs> That's nasty. Fish Finger Buddy for the Kids by Michella N? Or Michaela? I don't know. Oh, f off, Michella. Most of us are just happy we kept our kids alive today. <laughs> Jade, you sound bitter, Jade. Come on. <laughs> I bet your Facebook job is full time mummy. <laughs> Boss Mom who sells Makeup from home in a dodgy pyramid scheme. <laughs> How y'all know her life like that? <laughs>
Looks good, very artistic, and must have taken you ages. Meanwhile, your kids have set fire to the dog, stuffed next door's cat into your car's exhaust, and are now shoplifting Dairy Lee Dunkers in horrible sweets down at the local spa because they were hungry and were bored of waiting. <laughs> Robin, where do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> your kids are cats, aren't they, Michelle? No one with actual kids has time for this <laughs> Today's Sunday Dinner by Ben H. A nice traditional Sunday roast, meat, one veg, and stretched ear. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm selling popcorn for people reading the comments. Regular, $4. Large, $6. Add a Coke for only one dollar. The liquid kind. I'm mad he had to specify. <laughs> oh, I see you, Brad. Sunday dinner today by Leanne E. F me, Leanne. At least put some gravy on it. Looks a bit dry. <laughs> oh, I love the sarcasm, Jack. <laughs> this is on Leanne's kitchen wall. Live well. Laugh often. Love gravy. <laughs> Yo, she saturated that plate in gravy. I was asked to make a divorce cake by Sam T. The husband looks more pleased to be free than the wife. <laughs> I bet that tastes awfully bitter. <laughs> ah, to the bitter end. Homemade lasagna by Simon T. Just gonna leave this here. 50 sheets of lasagna. <laughs> Easy on the salad, Simon. Look at that little baby salad. <laughs> you might as well use a whole nother plate. Come on, man. Looks like you have baked the yellow pages. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Tonight's Sunday Rose by Callum M. I see the three wise Yorkshires have come to see the birth of the f driest Sunday Rose ever made. <laughs> <laughs> sausage and bacon cob by Luke C. It's sausage and bacon. For f**k's sake, spell it right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like, why is it a consistent theme on this page to spell sausage, bacon. There's something else y'all be spelling weird on here too. <laughs> I'm done. I know a Greg with a small sausage too. <laughs> on toast by Leanne B. Looks like my granddad's heel. Ew! No! <laughs> I would have eaten this until I saw the photo of granddad's heel. <laughs> Me too, Sarah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Left side is potato, right side is chicken by Lee B. Ironically, for a plate filled with smiles, it's bloody depressing. <laughs> It is. I'm sorry. Leek Owl Gratton Vegan Dining at its finest by Dolly M. Is it still vegan if it's your own dead skin off your foot? <laughs> Look at the panic. That is disgusting. Today's dinner by Aoli P. That chicken is so underdone, its other leg is still crossing the road. <laughs> This is what they see in Bird Box before killing themselves. <laughs> Monday Roast by Natalie H. And with the filter off. <laughs> I bet that's what it really looks like. Roast leg of lamb, lemon roast potatoes, and cauliflower broccoli cheese by Anita H. Anita only cooks with coconut oil. Drinks lemon and hot water, and no carbs after 5 p.m. She loves yoga and goes buggy running with her one-year-old called Winston. <laughs> Georgina! <laughs> oh, you got her on that. <laughs> Anita definitely picks her nose with a tissue. <laughs> Homemade steak and ale pie by Gail S. 
Well, that certainly puts mine to shame. <laughs> Where's a teddy bear nightie to bed? Irons for tea towels, does Sudoku, and has had missionary twice in the dark. <laughs> Am I right, <laughs> Delicious, very neat. I bet she farts into a tissue. <laughs> what? What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> to trap the smell, huh? Oh my gosh. I've never heard anything. <laughs>